because I got shot to the head right up here, right? I got to ya now. No link on the attack now. Bring a whole chain set up. No link. Attack, attack, attack. Hey guys, my name is Sakina. Okay, I'm a mother of four. I was in the hospital sometime in September last year because I got shot to the head. Right up here. Right? However, God has been good to me and spared my life. Right? As you can see how I talk, my jawbone is broken as well. But because of the injury to my head, they have to wait until it's properly healed before they could operate on my mouth. Okay? When I was in the hospital, they wanted to operate on my mouth. because, But because I was very, very weak, because, you know, I lose a lot of blood and all of that. So, um, I didn't get to do the operation from then. However, I have gotten this card, Facial Max card, right, from KPH. And these are on my appointments date. Okay, and I have visit KPH Facial Max and I've gone through all of these dates. This last date here in June. This is the day that I'm supposed to return to do, to get a date on when they're planning to operate on my mouth. Okay. As I was saying, pertaining to my kids, I have three girls, ages one, the baby is one, and uh, my son is three, my next daughter is six, going on seven this year. And my eldest daughter is 10 going on 11. Yeah, okay. So what I'm asking you guys is that even if you can even help me with a even a one bedroom, it will be greatly appreciated. Even that. When it comes on to food, I don't really um, emphasize that much on food because, you know, my people, they will come in and they will help me. But, you know, as family, they won't do it for long. So what I'm planning to do after my mouth is fixed up, I'm going to do um, my personal business. I go out on the road and I do some selling and all of that. So I could help myself differently. So I'm asking you, and I don't need any clothes for them and stuff like that because, you know, persons really do need to me. Persons really help me with clothes for them and all of that. And, and as I said, where I was living first, they have clothes there, but I don't go back there because, you see, I don't know who gave me the shot and all of that. I don't want to go back there no and then, work. you know, you don't know the person. You, you come as if you're going into a, a violent community all over back again and all of that. So to prevent all of that, you know, I stay away. Yeah, so whatever you guys can assist me with, uh... Ghostwise, I'll be really appreciated. Thank you. And this place, uh, before I close, this where I am at right now, this isn't my place. This is my mother's place. I'm staying right here. This room here is my mother's hunt. room. However, she had bits. allowed me to stay here for the time being. Right? Right. Me and my kids. Oof. That's my baby here. I don't know if you can see her here. She's fast asleep on the bed, and my daughter is somewhere around there. That's my eldest daughter, no. right? My other two kids, they are off to church this morning. Okay, thank you. Yes, people, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up on the cell man. I don't know the thing going on. I understand, and boy, as I tell you now, this lady, you know, wow. Shot in the head. She managed to survive by the hands of the Almighty, which give praises unto that. I understand. I should say her mouth, she have to talk away right now because they need to do a surge upon her mouth and thing and thing. You know, struggle is really tough on our people, like you can see. Four kids and basically no father. No father around. Four kids, no father. She alone. You know what I mean? No work and thing. 
they are her mother place right now which with four kids me know that no really that not comfortable and worse you see the place is not like say it's a different room section basically that's just one part and even the mother definitely needs some help too you can see that people because the roof there so really need some sanitex inside of it because in a, especially in a, the summer light like now it's gonna really be hot there you understand and i can tell you really hot and terrible so they, def they definitely need some help so she need help with a one bedroom and thing if anybody can assist her um this video is on facebook you get me i know people trying to reach out to her people reaching out to her already but anybody from my channel who can reach out to her and assist her I'm going to leave her number in the description there. You can take the number and you know what I mean? Give her a call her for day. Where she is close to her in St. Mary or around in anywhere in Jamaica. And you can reach out to this girl and assist her. Even if you're a mason and you're willing to go lay some black for her. You're a steel man. You're willing to go tie some steel. You're a laborer. You're willing to go mix some mortar or something. When you can cast this and cast that. You can assist and give her. You understand? But by the help of God, people. Boy. I tell her God, she survived for your purpose because a rare year so people get shot in at the head, people, and make it. You understand, it's a rare thing. But by the help of God, she's alive. Because God sees that He need her for the kids, them. You hear me? I said, four kids. She have one, we have one. And I said, where the father there? Where are the fathers for these kids? The one at three. When I was six, one at ten. Where are the daddies? So what this man, them at Jamaica? We are getting the pity them. Who are they? Because I mean, she said nothing like the father dead. She said the father dead people can never remember. Eh? You know what this man? You know, talk, get the pitney them and not take care of them. You know what people out there dying in for one pitney? You know, breathe up and not get the pitney them and not play no role as a father. Hmm? You know, need to play no role as a father. Play no part. Zin? Play no part. You know, should I be ashamed of yourself now for say all of the baby mother come forward now and know so on a big dirty thinking man out there can work or something. Some of them man lazy and I want to work, which we know so you have whole man out there determined and go the extra mile to take care of them. But you have some man with worthless. Then just go around, breed them man, and left pit this and left pit. When pit get bigger, so them around come in about them name daddy. You don't want to take a you don't want to shoot with a shit bag. You think a joke you link and make attack for no. Any worthless boy don't want to take care of them youth. Attack. Straight attack. Zin. People feel it for see things like them. You get me saying? That's why 99% of the time the people reach out to New Link people in a situation like this. God no, we have to broadcast it. You get me answer because it's a really sad situation. Really sad and no life for some people live certain way in their life. We have to see everybody live healthy, everybody live great, everybody try, can live as comfortable and as best as they can be, you know what I mean? Because in this world people only just sees and he knows. You get me? I say, only just sees and he knows. Tell you. So, don't know the thing going up, viewers and subscribers. Enough love and enough respect, man. And just so everybody, if you just stay blessed and stay positive, you understand? As me tell the people, if you can reach out and assist this lady, please do so. Find the heart there. Find the courage there inside. If you do assist and help her, please. You get me? I say, please do. And at the end, people, we just gonna leave. A little closure near the end so you at least you can watch back a piece of the video. I'm going to leave near the end so you can watch back a little piece and really find the art the inside to do assist this female because she do need the help people. We see it. We're not blind. We can look and we can see and we can know somebody at a lie. This is realistic thing. This is real thing and this is truthful thing. So you don't know the thing of yours and subscribers. Enough love. Enough respect and stay blessed and stay safe. Attack! Peace out. Hey guys, my name is Sakina. Okay, I'm a mother of four. I was in the hospital sometime in September last year because I got shot to the head right up here. Right? However, God has been good to me and spared my life. Right? As you can see, I talk. My jaw bone is broken as well, but because of the injury to my head, they have to wait until it's properly healed before they could operate on my mouth. Okay? When I was in the hospital, they wanted to operate on my mouth because, but because I was very, very weak because, you know, I lose a lot of blood and all of that. So, um, I didn't get to do the operation. 
from then. However, I have gotten this card, Facial Max card, right, from KPH, and these are on my appointments date. Okay, and I have visit KPH Facial Max, and I've gone through all of these dates. This last date here in June, this is the day that I'm supposed to return to do, to get a date on when they're planning to operate on my mouth. Okay. As I was saying, pertaining to my kids, I have three girls, ages one, the baby is one, and uh, my son is three, my next daughter is six, going on seven this year, and my eldest daughter is ten, going on eleven. Okay? So, what I'm asking you guys is that even if... You can even help me with a even a one bedroom. It will be greatly appreciated. Even that. When it comes on to food, I don't really um emphasize that much on food because you know my people they will come in and they will help me. But you know, as family they won't do it for long. So what I'm planning to do after my mouth is fixed up, I'm going